Hello everyone. We will study about geometric shapes today. Let's first see definition. Geometric shapes can be defined as figures or areas closed by a boundary which is created by combining the specific amount of curves, points and lines. Types of shapes: 2D shapes, 2-dimensional, 3D shapes, 3-dimensional. Point, line, plane and solid. A point has only position a line is one dimensional a plane is two dimensional 2d a solid is three dimensional 3d so this can be like square or rectangle and this can be cube or cuboid 2d shapes definition a 2d shape can be defined a set of points or vertices and lines connecting the points in a closed chain it is two dimensions length and width 2d shapes don't have any thickness and can be measured in only two faces such shapes are called polygons for example triangles squares and pentagons other shapes may be bounded by curves such as circle or the ellipse these are the 2d shapes so here we have these triangles under triangles we have equilateral triangle isosceles triangle right angle triangle these are four dimensional figures parallelogram kite trapezium these are quadrilaterals rectangle square rhombus and these are other polygons octagon hexagon pent pentagon in same with septagon nanagon 3d shapes definition a 3d shape can be defined as a solid figure or an object or shape that has three dimensions length width and height unlike two dimensions shapes three dimensional shapes have thickness or depth such shapes are called polyhedrons example includes cubes as well as pyramids other three dimensional shapes may be bounded by curved surfaces such as the ellipsoid and the sphere these are the 3d shapes cube rectangular prism sphere cone cylinder polygonal shapes a polygon is formed from a chain of vertices that is points a straight line is assumed to connect each pair of neighboring vertices these are the vertices vertices there is no convention for starting a chain of vertices so it is a closed figure so there is no starting point polygonal shapes we can now subject this list of vertices coordinates to a variety of arithmetic and mathematical operators as x is at 1 so this will at 1 and y is at 3 1 2 3 so this will be at 3 here y and x both are 1 1 here x is at 3 and y is at 1 here x is again at 3 but y is at 2 We can now subject this list of vertex coordinates to a variety of arithmetic and mathematical operators. So, in the form of x and y coordinates, we can do this. Area of a shape. The area of a polygonal shape is readily calculated from its chain of coordinates. List of coordinates. x and y x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. Area of a shape, area is computed by area is equals to 1 upon 2 x0 y1 minus x1 y0 plus x1 y2 minus x2 y1 plus x2 y3 minus x3 y2 plus x3 y0 minus x0 y3. 
मल्टीप्लाइंग एन एक्स बाय द नेक्स्ट वाई माइनस द नेक्स्ट एक्स बाय प्रीवियस वाई दिस इज वॉट वी आर डूइंग इन दिस फॉर्मूला मल्टीप्लाइंग एन एक्स बाय द नेक्स्ट वाई सो वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग एक्स ऑफ जीरो बाय द नेक्स्ट वाई वॉट इज नेक्स्ट वाई इफ एक्स इज एट जीरो देन वाई विल बी एट वन सो वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय एक्स ऑफ जीरो टू वाई ऑफ वन माइनस वी विल ऑल्टरनेट दिस माइनस द नेक्स्ट एक्स बाय द प्रीवियस वाई सो वॉट विल बी द नेक्स्ट एक्स नेक्स्ट एक्स विल बी एक्स वन एंड प्रीवियस वाई विल बी वाई जीरो सो दिस विल बी वन and plus and so on in same way here we have already taken x of 0 so here we will take x1 and next y so x2 minus next x x2 into y previous the so x1 and plus and so on when the last vertex is selected it is paired with the first vertex to complete the process for example this so here is our example the values of the example so we will put the values as x what is here x of 0 we have taken here as 1 into 1 so this is this is x of 0 and this is y of 1 and this is x of 1 this is x of 1 so this is 3 and so here we have the values this is for x of 0 y of 0 x of 1 y of 1 up to x of 3 to y of 3 so we'll put these value in this formula and we can solve it accordingly so what is our area our area is 3 units our example is a triangle and a polygon having their vertices and the points the line at connecting them so here we have distance between two points when we know the horizontal and vertical distances between two points we can calculate the straight line distance the distance triangle x is equals to x2 minus x1 and triangle y is equals to y2 minus y1 to get this area to get this area what we are doing here we are taking this as triangle x and here this as triangle y okay and to find this what we need to do is we need to minus from this is the value of x2 and this is the value of x1 to get this much we need to minus from x2 to x1 then we can get this area so we will get triangle x in same way for the y value and to get this distance which distance this distance we are going to solve here the distance d between p1 and p2 is given by d is equals to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so d is equals to triangle x whole square plus triangle y whole square theorem of pythagoras in 2d the theorem of pythagoras is used to calculate the distance between the two points pythagoras theorem states that for all right angle triangles the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides we already know this 
and it is given by a square plus b square is equal to c square. The horizontal distance of a is x2 minus x1. Vertical distance of b is y2 minus y1. c square is equal to a square plus b square. Put in the calculations for the a and b. c square is equal to x square minus x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square square root of both sides. C is equals to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Cartesian coordinates. When we move to 3D, there are two choices for positioning the third z-axis. Theorem of Pythagoras in 3D. The theorem of Pythagoras in 3D is a natural extension of the 2D rule. It even works in higher dimensions draw the triangle on the bottom of triangle abc theorem of pythagoras in 3d here we get distance d pythagoras tells us that d is equals to root of x square minus x square plus y square theorem of pythagoras in 3d we can use Pythagoras again. Two sides are d is equals to x square minus x square plus y square. And this this can be solved accordingly in the same way as the Pythagoras. This I don't need to uh, explain. Py properties of 3D shapes. 3D shapes have faces, edges, and vertices. Faces. A face is a flat or curved face surface on a 3D shape. For example, a cube has six faces, a slender has three faces, and a sphere has just one face. For example, an edge is where two faces meet. For example, a cube has 12 edges, a slender has two, a sphere has none. Vertices. A vertex is a corner where edge meets. So, if this is a rectangle, then this is vertices. These points are vertices where the edges meet. For example, a cube has 8 vertices, a cone has only 1 vertex, and a sphere has none. Euler's formula. For any polyhedron that doesn't intersect itself, the number of faces plus the number of vertices minus the number of edges always equals to 2. This can be written faces plus number of vertices minus number of edges is always equals to 2. What we need to do here is faces plus vertices minus edges is equals to 2. Where Number of faces plus the number of vertices that is corner points minus the number of edges. For example, answer a cube has 6 faces, 8 vertices and 12 edges. How a cube has 6 faces? These are 3 faces and 3 faces are beyond this. So if I draw it like this so these i have got another three faces i hope you are understanding it and to check whether it has eight vertices or not let's see first second third fourth fifth sixth this is seventh and this is eighth like one two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it has 8 vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it has 6 faces. So 6 face plus 8 vertices minus the number of edges. It has 12 edges. How? Let me rub this. First edge, 
first stage second third fourth this is 2d now on converting in into 3d we get One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. So these are eight edges. What is the formula? Six faces plus eight vertices minus twelve edges is always equals to two. Let's solve it to prove whether this is true or not. Six plus eight is fourteen minus twelve is two. So yes, this is true and it satisfies the condition. Thank you for watching the video. For any query, comment on the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for computer science subjects and insights IAS daily current affairs for UPSC 2021 preparation. Have a nice day. Bye.